Hey, this is Emily, and I am back with the second in our video series on advanced benthic macroinvertebrate identification. In this video, we're going to be covering the order Ephemeroptera, or the much-loved mayfly. However, before we delve too deeply into it, I did want to briefly discuss what is a functional feeding group. If you don't need a review on functional feeding groups, please proceed to this timestamp. But if you'd like to know more, a functional feeding group is part of what helps scientists categorize all of these benthic macroinvertebrates based on what they eat, but also more so, actually, how they eat. So what adaptations they have to collect and process their food. Um, on the whole, overall, benthic macroinvertebrates are generalist feeders. So they might be eating meat and they might be eating plants or other debris in the stream, a collection of those things. But as you'll see with our groups, it kind of just depends on what adaptations they have as to what category they're in. So at the top of the so-called, so to speak, food chain, we of course have predators. This is a dragonfly nymph, and both in the nymph and adult stage, they primarily eat live prey. We'll be doing a video on these guys a little bit later. Down from them we have shredders. You might recognize this one as a stonefly nymph. I did mention in that video, I believe, that some of them kind of fall into the predator category. However, overall, they're considered shredders due to their adaptations, their mouth parts that they have to shred debris in the stream. So they are mostly going to be able to eat debris that's larger, say, than one millimeter in size. Down from them we have collectors, and this on that card is actually two different types of mayfly larvae. We'll go over what they are in just a bit. But collectors, um, you could think that they are kind of scavengers of the uh, macroinvertebrate world. You could think anything that's falling out of the stonefly's mouth is probably going to land in theirs, because they're going to be eating debris, leaf litter, things like that less than one millimeter in size, primarily. And then last but not least, we have grazers or scrapers. On this card are actually two different kinds of beetle larva. However, let's look at this one. A lot of people might recognize this as a water penny. And grazers and scrapers get their name because they have the adaptations necessary to scrape off out thin layers of algae from the stream rocks, and that's what they eat. So those are our functional feeding groups. Um, if you need more information on that, uh, more specific details about kind of categories within these feeding groups, please remember to refer to the resources I have listed in the description for the video. Um, however, without further ado, here is the order Ephemeroptera or the mayflies. The name Ephemeroptera traces back to the Greek word ephemeros, meaning lasts a day or short-lived, and this refers to their adult terrestrial lifespan, and terra, meaning wings. The nymph stage, which you're about to see lasts anywhere from a few months to a year typically, and mayflies undergo the ENA, or egg nymph adult life cycle. This also means that they undergo an incomplete metamorphosis. These nymphs are distinguished from other orders by a few main characteristics, including their pulsating lateral abdominal gills, which are either filaments or plate-like structures. They also have long, thin tails. Most often they have three, however some species will have two. And lastly, they have segmented legs with one tarsal claw at the tip. The order includes a variety of feeders, but most are considered collector-gatherers, meaning that they feed on extremely small particles. And most often mayflies require rockier substrates, although a few are adapted for silty or sandy substrates.